it's going to be really interesting. I did just get confirmation that this is VTO's career first Jace game as yeah, well. It is. So he's busting out a few of these in the game so far and in the season so far, actually. And I'm really curious to see how these two uh, compositions... Or sorry, on the ward here is fine. You just want to see if you can get push for buff, but Yankos... Oh, the engage comes out. Oda tries to buff for it. Flash used by Yankos. The stun lands. And Oda's been able to put enough distance away. Does he fancy himself a chance with that Patrick and Targamas? They've got the cleanse and the ignite on the side of Heretics. And Odo's backing away. Odo could teleport in if needed. That's a two-man knockup. Stand aside. Mercer takes a couple tower shots and first blood secured by Jack Spectra. Now Targumas is the next target. Yanko steps forward. One auto. The second. The third. The fourth. It's a double kill for Jack Spectra and a flawless dive for Heretics. And a 2-0 Draven off the back of that as well. So well executed by Heretics. And especially when we've been... VTO has been able to push all the way into VTO. And that's a big call. My cocoon is all of a sudden going to land. Ruby's getting burnt. Shockwave onto three, but there's not enough damage to follow it up. VTO will get out of damage range as Zerse will repel up and drop back down. First want to give him these resources. He needs to land that poke. He needs to make use of Jace's kit, his first game on it. Gigantic minion wave in the bottom lane. VTO is making his way forward. That unbreakable wall is up. Now it's timed out. Piercing arrow flies forward. Jack Spectra's got Whirling Death available to him and the exhaust insta cleanse. The death whirls forward as Jack Spectra gets a third. Continues to step backwards. Spinning axe off the spinning axe. And he should be taken out here by VTO. The minions finally do it. And the shutdown gold to boot. And this is the video that I've been missing where he's able to get pressure amid. Roam down to his bottom. Thousand. We fancy ourselves a fight here, Dagda. Yeah, I mean, look at Jack Spectra. This is the guy that has to carry Bloodthirst to complete it. He's the first one with an item, but... XL, just looking for poke. Where's the engage? Mercer, quickness available to him. Can hop over the wall. XL are grouped up. They're holding on to the trigger instead. Team Heretics will secure that one. He's looking for a now potential fight. Chain of corruption starts to spread. The quickness will slow down and Jack Spectre forced to flash away. Unbreakable has now timed and whirling death. Burns down the HP bars as Yankos is focusing the spider. Jack Spectre gets another, this time onto Zerse. They get the dragon and they get the kill. I don't know in what world you want to... You can see it on your screens right now. Ultimately, I think maybe fancying what they could get on a surprise. Accelerated shot bars, bring the hammer down! The Mercurial Hammer and Vitio finds the solo kill! And this was all you had to let Vitio Cross maps happen and again setting up for the dive. This time Targumas and Patrick, they're respecting it. Yeah, but look, Ruby's on his way, you've got Vitio as well. This is going to turn into a much bigger fight. Glacial Prison instantly cleansed away for the knockout and the quickness. Patrick is just about to drop, but the Unbreakable is buying enough time. Finally, Jack Spectra gets the kill. The shield is broke from that blood as it continues to get for the spinning axis. Here comes Odo with the backup of Vitio! Mercer's down as a double for Vitio. The tower may be secured with the help of the Rift Herald, though. And I think net advantage, Team Heretics. The thing is, this Jace is getting fed 4 0 1. Trying to play through these side lanes to keep it in check. You can see Ruby's just doing her. Ooh, hang on. Well, there's the flash away. Patrick fires the chain of corruption. Will not work. Odo's already channeled. Call of the Forge God and Mercer rolls to run for his life. Flashes underneath the tower. Jack Spectre using spinning axe off the spinning axe. Backed up by a glacial prison. He gets another. The sixth of the game. So as they forced a flash away to safety. The shock one. Is gigantic from Ruby trying to set up more. Poke doesn't matter if you cannot stand your ground. And Heretics find two kills and they get some damage on this tower. But take a look at Vito. Not done yet. Accelerated Shock Blast finding their targets. Kinney weave another shot onto Ruby. I think there's too many minions in the way and Ruby's back down. Well, the uh, pressure on Targumus is huge because that shield does not last oh, long no. enough. Stand aside finds two, buying some time. So he's able to at least get away for now, but Targumas left inside of the jungle. Kill another one secured to Jack Spectra. So many of them donated eight kills for Heretics. All eight of them on Draven. <laughs> it doesn't really... It's actually been the gold that Jack Spectra has been massively behind him. Like 1.8k when we look at the 14 minute mark. But we're going again. Look at that. Yankos has found PTO. Prison into Shockwave. And Mercer's is able to fly to safety while that's going on. Thumbs up in the chat as Ebby's going to push Oduwamne back. I'm not certain if we're going to get a replay of this. Just before we do, though, I want to bring up the percentage scenarios that will happen. If Heretics win this game, they lock top eight, but so do G2, BDS, and Mad Lions. All three of those teams waiting in the wings, waiting to secure themselves the group stage. It's being led by Jack Spectra. It's a 7,000 gold. Up, but when you can take the big purple worm just after the 20-minute mark, you might as well. Well, Vizio can shoot some fish in a barrel. Teleport's available to him, has been channeled, he has arrived. 4,000 HP, Ebby's buying as much time as he can. 
Mercer's no quickness, it's too late, it's too late, it's too little, it's too late, but what more can Exile do? The Searing Charge knocks up a few as Jack Spectre's locked inside the pit, but the stun is huge! Abby wails away on Vito. he's forced to run for his life! Ruby's one second for the Shockwave, pulls Odo back, and all of a sudden Heretics are wrecking Exile! Goodbye, Patrick! Two more kills to Jack Spectre, 11 of the team's third. Managing to make back-to-back -back playoffs last year, now trying to dig themselves out of a gigantic hole. Patrick and Vitio should be able to pick up this kill here. Finally secure, it's Vitio that does so, but at what cost? At what cost? Inhibitor turrets are falling, and I don't know how you deal with an 11, 2, and 0. Draven, that is protected by a Sejuani and Orion place. Tiebreaker games will happen, regardless of a hit hit. If two teams are tied at, I bet they say one and eight. If that is uh, the decider for eight, they will play that game. Right now, multiple people knocked up. How did that happen? All of a sudden, Exile have found the kill to Jack Spectra, but there's not much more in the tank. Odo is dropped low, so seeing targets run for their lives. The Wombo worked for one onto Jack Spectra. They got a the second onto Mercer. The tower finally falls, and Abby's looking to chase down Cersei and Targamas. Two members of XL running for their lives. The inhibitor will be the focus. A last ditch effort. They get a few kills, but not much more. But well, they might get a couple of towers here. They will get the inhibitor at least on the way out, but XL will hold on to a little bit more. Abby got to jump away as well, but. I mean, this is where you can kind of see Heretics once more. Just a beauty. LEC, but along with BDS, Mad Lions, and G2. So a number of teams looking ahead to those best of threes if Heretics close this out. And right now, Heavy's on the tower. Before the Forge Guard comes out, knocks up a couple members as Yankos backs away. He's thrown out the prison himself. Mercer will jump away to safety. Odo is dropped once again, just standing in front, and Jack Spectre firing away. Maybe he's trying to usher these minions forward. Supers in the middle lane, supers in the bottom lane. Inhibitor taking top lane. Dagda, this is a League of Legends by the numbers. I mean, it's League of Legends by unfair numbers as well. They're winning four versus fives. Ebby's just killing your Nexus turrets. Heretics want to end this now, and they are just swarming into the base of XL. And Jack Spectra continues to stack up those passives. 12 and 3, four items into the two items of Patrick. So you know, have three items of VTO. The Nexus turret has fallen. Shock Plus doing some work, but simply not enough. Shockwave is still available for Ruby as the final Nexus turret falls. Focusing onto the Nexus. Repelling up from Zerse, dropping down. Evi gets a two man stun and pops Patrick. There's not enough damage to follow. And with XL being eliminated in their base, Team Heretics advance to groups. A lot of fans in the LEC going to be happy to see Heretics pick up this win. If you're a G2 fan as well, going to be delighted to know that they have been locked. But that was a very well-controlled game from Heretics, which I think a lot of fans of Heretics needed to see out of. BDS, G2 Esports, Mad Lions, and Team Heretics are all now locked into the group stage. The thing is, every single game is still relevant and important because hey, there are four pools of seeding.